in the slum, life is really bad. Most of these girls, some are orphans, some are single parents because some parents maybe died because of HIV. There are thousands of kids who live in slums, in rural areas, poverty-driven areas, where they cannot play. They do not play at all. And on top of that, not only do we provide them an opportunity to play, through play, we give them education. We teach them about HIV and AIDS. We teach them about reproduction. We teach them about gender equity and about self-esteem. Under this Sports for Social Change Network, we want to, to bring change which is positive and sustainable to the community. So we use whatever sporting activities we have within our organization members to impact our community where we are coming from. I believe street youth is just like any other youth. Given the right facilities and proper guidance, they can come off the streets and be a good citizen like any other person. We're using the sports and using the, the, the whole sports with social change initiative and the way we work with the networks, we're able to approach children and we approach thousands of children, not just hundreds of children, we reach thousands of children. I live in the slum, that's why I train boxing to defend myself from people like okay, gangsters, rapists. I have been attacked once. I had to defend myself and my sister was just like screaming because they had come with like a knife. And they also, when the community saw that I was fighting for myself and so they jumped in. Part of what Sports with Social Change is about is about showing you that you have rights and you can fight for your rights. And that's the key thing about the social change in the sports work that we do, is that these young people start getting a sense of entitlement and realizing that they are powerful enough in themselves as young people to make change happen in their lives and to get what they want. Through playing soccer, I believe it's a good thing because it keeps us from doing bad things like engaging ourselves in drug abuse and other social evils that are there in the slums because we've grown up there. I think it's key to work with these local NGOs and CBOs because they are the ones who are on the ground working on a daily basis with these young people. Very often they come from those environments, very often they themselves were once in one of these dumps and they really know what they're talking about and they're there to stay. Like me, you know, if it was not going maybe to play sports, I could still be there in the dumping site. But maybe if they get the support, I believe all of them can come out of the dumping site. You singe pendelea pia wasichana ingine wa kwa ilile life, ile situation ilikuwa. Sai sikuizu wali wachayota bia kuiba na ya gamu, sikuizu tukonao pamoja, tunasaida pia watu iwadogo. If we didn't get the chance to play soccer and get scholarships in order for us to continue with our education, I don't think we will be here. <laughs> because many of our friends that we were with in, in high school dropped from form three because they could not afford the school fees. So they ended up getting married or yeah, getting children at an early age. organize like uh, cleanups the community or also like do some road show doing some awareness creating awareness on most HIV and AIDS gender violence child abuse teenage uh, prostitution we also have like computer classes and like a peer education session We cannot wipe out the problem of street youth, but we can help to reduce the effects. We teach the young girls how to follow their heart and follow their dreams. I am in the Sports for Social Change Network, and uh, we are change makers. If I can only make a change in one of them, that will be a very big achievement. The goal we're trying to achieve is really, at the, at the end of the day, is to empower young people and give them opportunities to improve their lives and become responsible adults in their communities. It's really exciting in the work I want to do because I, I think the children are the future.